All right, man, talk to talk. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Six o'clock show. Six o'clock show, six o'clock show. All right, so look, man. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, people getting banned. All these streamers are starting to get banned from coming to certain cities, LA in particular. Um, yes, so we're going to get into that. Um, this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please subscribe. And if you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash App PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Let me know where you're from too, man. I really appreciate that. So we're going to get right into it, man. And I'm trying not to do a long spill anymore. Well, sometimes, not all the time, but I was called a character. And when he said, you are a character. And I said, okay. Yeah, let me get this uh, Curly John going. All right, man. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go, man. <laughs> Did Aiden Ross just put his life in danger for his favorite rapper? As the fallout from the Kendrick and Drake beef continues to rage on, the popular streamer from Florida has gone to bat for Drizzy to such a degree that he's ruffled feathers in the wrong places. And by the looks of it, FaZe Banks might have thrown himself into the line of fire as well. After running their mouths, they could be faced with a target on their back whenever they come through Cali. It's your boy Luesta, and this is why Kendrick Lamar's crew are currently banning influencers from LA. And to understand how we reached this potentially hazardous time for Aiden, we need to go back a little. As a self-proclaimed fan of hip-hop, Aiden has been prone to inserting himself into rap-related issues more and more as his platform expanded. Recently, he revealed that he asked Trump to pardon Tory Lanez if he was re-elected, as well as advocating for the freedom of YSL's Young Thug. He's patriot. See, what I, what I don't like is when... People come into the culture and they they want to do things just just so they can say they did it. It's like I, I never seen as many clout chases as some of these dudes. Like you don't really care if Tory Lanez. I mean, you 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 doing that? You don't even know Tory Lanez. I'm sure you don't know, and I'm sure you don't know uh, Young Thug. But you that's just the thing to do. Now don't get me wrong. For some people, they need to be pardoned. You know what I'm saying? But it just sounds kind of weird to me that you don't be knowing these people, but you want to pander to people by saying, oh, can you pardon these people? Like, so everybody that knows, oh, yo, he asked Trump to pardon, he asked Trump to pardon Young Thug, bro. That's crazy. Marla would have never did that. It's like, come on, bro. Set are being all terrible they're going after him and i hear young thug is being treated i heard the name yeah i heard it from other people where they say he's being treated very unfair very unfair so he's got to be treated fairly please on other occasions he has light-hearted exchanges with rappers while some such as 21 savage and playboy cardi have gleefully taken advantage of his combination of softness and wealth even though hip-hop culture has tolerated him up to a point there are some things that he maybe shouldn't stick his neck out to get involved in now it looks like the feud between kendrick Lamar and Drake is one situation that he would have been better of steering clear of. For a couple of years now, Aiden has been gradually nurturing a relationship with Drizzy. You know, you see me in the in the in the cut right now, get my stream on, you know what I'm saying? Drayden Ross. You know. I gotta say this, man. Drake is such a cornball. I really don't understand how people like this dude. He is such a corny dude, bro. Says the man with a wig on his head. Yeah, I said it. He's so corny. Like, for real. He's like, he just, you ever met somebody and you you just, like, you don't know them, but when you see them, you just know that they're corny? That's Drake. Drake Sinat. I'm in the cut. Man. Shout out to all, yo! Shout out to all the streamers doing their thing. I don't think you guys realize like Drake work goes into the shit. I can't see me, Aiden. Are you crazy? What's up? <laughs> what the? Still, the two clearly became friendly to the point that Drake even played a practical joke on Aiden during a dating stream, where he pretended the content creator had an STD. Yo, the the, the nurse, the nurse said that the pills that you asked for are ready for. 
pick up at the pharmacy. When I don't know if, you're, if you want to go tonight or. Oh, uh, what pills are you talking about, bro? From time to time, they have even been spotted out together in Toronto and LA. Because of this, Aiden has been writing for Drake throughout the beef, although initially, he seemed a little more unbiased. After Like That dropped and ignited the whole feud via KDOT's incredible verse, Aiden disclosed that he heard a Kendrick diss was coming out and seemed to actively encourage it. Last couple nights, I've been going out. You guys know that. I've been going out a lot. I bumped into somebody who's very close on this Kendrick Drake situation, and there's a bird on the street that Kendrick already has a full-on diss track ready to drop for Drake. Kendrick, I'm a fan of hip-hop, hip -hop, and if you're gonna diss Drake, drop that shit. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Yeah, man, I mean, let it let it fly. If you wanna, if you wanna diss I seen that stream actually. I did this before I started learning about this dude. But yeah. Great. Let it, you know, let it let that let that drop. Uh, you know, we all wanna we all wanna we all wanna listen to that. But after push-ups dropped, things immediately changed. And Aiden became one of the many Drake supporters who claimed Kendrick was actively shook by the track and was afraid to respond. I'm gonna just say real shit. If it was vice versa, cause Drake dropped so much, if Drake was taking this long, y'all would literally be on Drake's dick, if we're being real. Why is nobody on Kendrick's dick? Kendrick, drop the track! Drop it! I'm not even don't even call me a dick sucker, bro. Real shit. Kendrick, drop the track. I'm a fan of hip hop. Forget I don't even know Drake personally, bro. Forget it. Drop the track. Drop the four year track you had on him, bro. But like, bro, I've got you in a chokehold. I ain't gonna lie. Even when Not Like Us came out and changed the whole narrative, Aiden remained unwavering in his support to Drake. But he did admit back then that the song slapped without the lyrics. I wish he didn't rap about him being a pedal. This song is hard as fuck. It's hard. But then, Things got a little weird as Aiden took it upon himself to become Drake's number one cheerleader. As he began to go on the offensive, he came at the former Twitter CEO, Jack Dorsey, for shading Drake with his big as a Super Bowl post in a wild rant that went from topic to topic before praising Drake once more. That's why he's not the CEO anymore and that's why Elon Musk is doing a way better job than him allowing freedom of speech and shit. I don't give a fuck, bro. It's fucking libtard. I don't- That's how these dudes are so stupid. Jack Dorsey wasn't the CEO when when Elon Musk took over dummy. It's like you dudes just be saying anything, man. He left the company before and then it was uh uh I can't remember the guy's name and the female, they took over the company, but he he was already gone. Like these dudes are retarded. Here, I said it, I said it, I said it. He banned Trump and now Trump owns this app, this fucking quill quill fest app. It's bad. Yo, Elon Musk did what Jack couldn't do. I don't care. It's the be it's better now. X is way better now. It's owned by it's owned by somebody who supports Trump. Thank God. We needed that. And uh Drake's wife. As all of this happened, Drake seemingly rewarded Aiden for his And Drake his wife. Like, come on, bro. This is what this is what we dealing with. This is what I said, bro. Like, we gotta get to the top, man. To get these dudes out of here. They gotta go. Like these these dudes gotta go. Like just just it's just like some of these dudes I don't understand how they get so famous when they just they they have idiotic takes. Like I don't know, man. Loyalty, even granting him access to an unreleased track between Drake and Dirk that he debuted on his stream. But as their bond strengthened, Aiden got a little bolder in his disrespect towards Kendrick Lamar, and this was about to cause him to run into a world of trouble. Because as he kept acting up across the internet, some dangerous people began to take notice. One of the first tipping points came when he complained about Not Like Us being played at the club. Nah, I, I'm loyal to Drake, bro. I'm, I'm not dancing this shit, bro. This shit cringe. This song fucking sucks. It's overplayed. This could have been just an isolated incident, but Drake then decided to press his friend in a comment on the stream, proclaiming that he should, quote unquote, come through to meet the dogs. At that point, Aiden decided to ride for him again at the expense of his friend. You owe my boy an apology, bro. I don't like how you jammed out and not like us like that. But if this situation was a spark that could ignite the beef. <laughs> uh, I wish he would ask me to come meet the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. You niggas be scared of these dudes, man. Please.
Aiden's next move was about to pour gasoline on the whole situation. In a stream alongside academics, Aiden Ross platformed a Drake-affiliated goon named Top 5. Fresh from jail and with Drizzy paying his legal f <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> the whole situation. In a stream alongside academics, Aiden Ross platformed a Drake-affiliated goon named Top 5. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. <sighs> Look at this. <sighs> Look at this. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't be sick. What you got on your head, bro? Come on, bro. Ah, oh, man. I tell you, man. Some niggas is too ugly to be thugs, man. I swear. This is crazy work right here. Fresh from jail and with Drizzy paying his legal fees, this Toronto MC was ready to squabble on Drake's behalf and claimed that he was about to research who might be in line for a beatdown or dirt nap. We're gonna play Not Like Us video and we're gonna look at every nigga in the video and we're gonna do homework. <laughs> to make matters worse, Top 5 then outwardly threatened the artist and put an exclusion zone around his own city, with Ak and Aiden laughing along. Let me tell you something. Country Club Mark can't come yeah. to Toronto. I'm here. Naturally, Top 5 got a huge response out of the West Coast, with noted TDE affiliate Smack letting it be known that they were ready for war whenever he was. Fuck you in Toronto, Top 5. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. Don't get me blood, nigga. You ain't gotta come find us. We'll find you, bitch. You know, fuck Top 5. And fuck they're going mom. to class whenever fuck they meet sister, up. Fuck his daughters, all oh, that, nigga. Come get me blood, bitch. Man. He threatening us. He threatening us. He tears all off the tables now. Yeah. It's off the tables, nigga. You yeah. threaten us, nigga. Fuck your whole family. But it wasn't just Top 5 who was given a stern warning. Because of Aiden's loyalty to Drake and appearing alongside someone like Top 5, Smack let it be known that he was no longer welcome in the City of Angels. And I swear to God, I'ma slap him. And even if his security is from LA, they gonna get slapped too. So if he comes with some out of town security, they really gonna get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just he put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA, please. Immediately, people from Cali and beyond felt that Aiden had made a potentially grave mistake and shouldn't have involved himself in the situation to begin with. Aiden doesn't realize that there's so many YGs trying to make a name for themselves. They don't care about the law slash lawyers. Pop Smoke's Killers is already out of jail. But rather than respond in a respectful manner, Aiden, alongside a nervous looking Sneeko, decided to dig his heels in and stand his ground. LA, I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit to me, I promise you, bro. Fuck, like, you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned from LA. Fuck that old ass motherfucker on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, <laughs> but I'm have security smack the fuck out of you. Telling Smack to go. Bro. I don't understand how some of these dudes, they just, they play this whole internet gangster movement. And it's like, it's just not working, man. Like, why, why, like, why, why, we, why do we, why do we have to act like we're so gangster all the time? And it's like, I ain't, I ain't scared of LA. I ain't scared of LA. You, I, 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 watch, watch this. He's in I'll strength to time. Man, man, it ain't going to be me. It's going to be my, my security. Like. Bro, you sound you sound crazy. You sound crazy. And ain't nothing tough about you, bro. Like, it's crazy. Start a family and that he was old, Aiden had once again puffed out his chest in a situation where he probably should have tucked his tail and ran. 
Besides, viewers felt his attempts to talk tough were completely transparent. I doubt this dude would speak up if a drive through fast worker messed up his order. If a grown man stands across him and raises his voice, this guy would fold like a wet paper. These elementary school kids might prop him up because of the internet, but he's a bitch through and through. Soon, Aiden would continue to weigh in on the situation, twisting the advice of Community's AD and turning it into a potential lawsuit. Aiden Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day. I don't mean to laugh because that's not funny. <laughs> oh man, let me run that back a little bit. <laughs> I need to weigh in on the situation, twisting the advice of Community's AD and turning it into a potential lawsuit. Hey, to Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 make some magic happen. I'll get. I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a Loki. See you for that. You want to? I can't wait. Once again, this was a pretty bad move. Not only because the lawsuit would only enhance the sense that he was out of his depth, but that he didn't belong in this world at all. Instead, many people argued that while Aiden might believe he's safe in LA, the sense of comfort he feels may be built on shaky ground when it comes to a city like Cali, where there may be unknown connections lurking beneath the surface. Mother doesn't know California. Somebody will recognize this guy and beat his ass. They just don't know, man. The bodyguards he hired when he comes to LA are most likely tapped in with the gangs. Trump almost got his ear blown on live TV, and this dude really thinks bodyguards can save him. Influencers may have clout in certain worlds, but streets aren't one of them. Despite this, FaZe Banks, who is a longtime friend of Aiden's and Drake's, said that he could hold him down. You saw some crazy clip about somebody saying you're not good in LA. Yeah, some like fat guy. You need me to make a couple phone calls? Yeah, bro, that guy's that guy's nobody. But go ahead, you, you gotta be. I need you to be big brother at Banks and, and figure just, that out. Just when you know you're always good in LA. Oh, I know. I'll walk down, down Melrose butt naked with an eight <laughs> with Aiden Roth tattooed on my chest. And we'll stream it, and nothing will happen. That clip actually pissed me off. But these niggas is wild, bro. I never seen nothing like this. Never in my life have I seen anything like this. These dudes is wild, crazy, wild, crazy. Never seen nothing like it. I swear, I never seen nothing like it. These dudes are crazy. It's like they want to get deleted. It's like they they say these things like, and they know they're not tough. That's the problem with these new streamers, because they know they're not like that, and they just like they don't understand what's really out there but they just do it and say these crazy things anyway. This only led to Smack to make the same call on Banks, making the city a no-go area for him as well. Oh, this nigga, FaZe Banks. He's FaZe right here. Banks, you can't come to LA now, you ass nigga. He and I want y'all to do a 72 hour stream, nigga, and walk down Merritt Road so naked. I can kick you in your ass while you naked. Oh, man. That'd be fire if them niggas walk down Merrill Street and saying where I'm at. Cause I swear I'ma pull up, boy. I ain't even better stop the car. And I and I fade both of them at the same time. They gotta to tell somebody they good in my city, nigga. Use a. At this point, it seemed like every person who came to Aiden's aid was doing more harm than good. Some fans even felt like the vultures were assembling when Adam22 came to his defense. When he took to his story to say, I've disrespected y'all worse than Aiden Ross and Banks ever did. You know where I'm at every day and I'm chilling. You guys make LA look goofy with all these empty threats. But after Adam tried to get involved, WAC100 set him straight. You see, how, you see, how, you see how these dudes talk? I disrespect, like... I disrespect y'all way more than him. I disrespected y'all way more than him. These dudes are goofy, man. This is all goofy. This is goofy. Kendrick goes above all of the street drama at this stage of his career. So anyone messing with Aiden wouldn't really be doing it on his behalf at all. And any attempt to link Dot to it would just be damaging to his image. First that. of all, <clears throat> Kendrick Lamar is... is uh, hosting the Super Bowl, he doesn't have goons. Stop trying to d dirty up, nephew. I, I feel like every rapper from LA has dudes no. who are willing to do things no. on the street. No. Elsewhere, academics felt Aiden was likely untouchable. And then you saying stuff like that? That's crazy. How y'all accept this dude in in the culture like that? It's like, isn't that isn't that dry snitching? Like, isn't that what y'all call dry snitching? Like. 
Yeah, we need to talk about that. We need to talk about the snitching versus versus exposing. I think a lot of people get it confused. They think it's not the same thing, but it really is the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. For other reasons that didn't come down to Kendrick at all. Instead, these reasons were skin deep. I've always said black people are good at scaring other black people. <laughs> you ain't gonna scare like a white Jewish motherfucker with a lot of money and a reach to a bunch of powerful people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on now, we, we all know this, right? 2,000 niggas get killed in Chicago. Let one white dude get hit in Chicago. Well, white dude with power because I'm gonna see that for later. <laughs> white dude with some power or like, let, let it be a senator's daughter or son. Let it be a billionaire's daughter or son. Man, they are shutting down that neighborhood, man. Niggas is going to jail, okay? Not, not even jail, they getting executed. Despite all the speculation over what it all meant, one person who was known to be very close to Kendrick eventually decided to speak out. Taken to his IG, Hitta J3, a known Westside Pyru who grew up with Kendrick, weighed in on the situation to subtly let Aiden know that he should back off, saying, No wonder Cardi didn't take your podcast serious. You be kids with some fame and let it go to your head, Aiden. Tell your man since he's so tough, come to Compton, not LA, Drake. They not the same. In a surprising turn of events, Playboy Cardi himself co-signed this message. It's unclear whether it was this comment from a known KDOT affiliate or something that happened behind the scenes that changed his tune, but clearly something spooked Aiden. Because before long, Aiden had reconsidered his position, perhaps realizing that paying security and actually being shielded from harm are two different things. So he issued a formal apology to the city. Guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm, I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple weeks. Don't put GGs in the chat. Probably coming in a couple weeks. Gonna probably do some horror night streams. Gonna go around, do a couple podcasts, stuff like that. So, um, but I do want to I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not necessarily apologizing to people I was talking towards, but I do want to say one thing. LA is to not be fucked with. LA is a serious place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Um, now, I'm not folding. I still say people that were coming at me. You. Now, between the apology and some other channels, AD of Community has let it slide and accepted a truce. Even after Aiden threatened to take him to court. I'm 2-0 being sued this year. Shout out to Aiden Ross. We're gonna put something dope together for the city, West Side. After this initial post, AD went into detail on stream, with some even accusing AD of valuing the brand more than his principles and giving Aiden special treatment as a result. Selling morals for money, Aiden is a clown. Next time AD gets into it with someone black, I want it to be all about peace and squash it fast too. Y'all giving these white boys a pass and want to go so hard against people like you. But while AD- That's a hundred percent facts. That's facts. That's facts. You can't get around that. You be giving, y'all be giving these white boys a pass. Now again, I ain't racist. I'm just calling it like it is. Y'all be giving them a pass. This guy, literally, this guy, Adam 22, literally said I disrespected y'all way more than that. I disrespected y'all way more than that. He openly said that. <laughs> he is a known crip and noted figure on the West. He doesn't necessarily speak for the whole coast. In fact, he doesn't even speak for the whole fig community. As Smack has insisted, it's not over until he says it is. You ain't taking, you, you ain't following suit with AD? No, not in this oh. one. Although they might have averted the problem for now, this close call should be a cautionary tale for Aiden, Banks, and people like them. I don't know why people try to play street games, leave the streets alone, leave Kendrick's name alone, leave TDE alone, and leave LA alone. Do your little stream, play your games, and go about your life. I grew up around real ones, and they not giving me any warning. They pull up and crash out. But while Aiden is clearly naive in this world, there are- Niggas don't understand. The, these, I'm telling y'all, man, them dudes in LA, them dudes in Compton, them dudes in the West, they different. They not, they different, man. They different. That's all I'm gonna say. And these dudes playing these games, I'm telling you, man, them dudes, they'll make you right in a, right in a restaurant, bro. It has happened. They don't care, bro. It's it's just, it's wild to me. Others who should know better that they were playing with fire. Some even argue that it's on Drake to defuse this kind of thing. 
as opposed to actively feeding into it by calling out Cheezer and gassing Aiden to declare his loyalty for him in such explicit terms. Drake is almost 40 encouraging this behavior. Ak and these other fools will learn that there is a real world outside of streaming. They can and will get touched if they keep making unnecessary threats. Others such as Ak see both sides of what went down but contended that if things ever go truly left, then the responsibilities lie solely on the men who are behind the mics in the first place. Aiden Ross. That's true. That's definitely true. You know, it is on the people behind the mic because you were the one that started. Like these, a lot of these dudes don't start this. Kendrick didn't start this. His, his, his uh, team and his, and his whoever's with him they didn't start this. Y'all dudes be out here just saying whatever, and this is what y'all get. This is what happens to y'all. Probably doesn't give a fuck about hip hop beef like that, but Drake is his guy. Nah, I don't wanna be in a club while I'm dancing to a song dissing my friend. Nah, I'm cool. If I'm smack, be like, nigga, fuck you then. If you, if, if you feel that way about Kendrick or the song, I, I agree with, uh, not agree, but I, but I understand both sides. And for the people who are trying to trump this up to like, oh, this is going left, I keep telling y'all this. If anybody ever get hurt or dies, only two people to be blamed. J Drake and Kendrick, nobody else. Above all, it's that's, obvious that's, that Aiden Rock. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That right there is bullshit. You cannot blame either Kendrick or Drake if somebody dies unless they're unless they are implicated into it. If this dude Aiden Ross is talking shit to somebody, you know what I'm saying, over a song that was done by Kendrick and Kendrick don't know this dude, how can you blame Kendrick for that? You know what I'm saying? How can you blame how can you blame Drake for that one if somebody crashes out or like unless unless they pointed and said do this, and we all know that Doodle Ball does do stuff like that, but you can't blame them just out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody dies, it's their fault. No, it's dudes who do stupid shit and, and this is what happens to them. And he's one of them. He talks crazy and you blame that on Drake. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I think that if, if Drake is in this stream and he's talking crazy, Drake should be responsible enough to tell him like, nah, we're not doing all that. He should but he's not if you speaking on that point, but Kendrick don't say anything. He don't say nothing. This dude is literally coming at Kendrick saying all types of shit to Kendrick and whatever, whoever else is saying something. And to be, the, to be honest, nobody on Kendrick's side has said anything. Ack. Nobody on Kendrick's side said anything. It was, it was literally this dude and whoever else he was following. They said something. Adam 22 said something. Even you said something. It's crazy. Us really should learn how to interact with rappers, as by now, he's had a few near misses that could have turned out a lot worse for him. And if you want to find out more about what went down in those situations, you can click the video on the screen. As a All right, man. Y'all go subscribe to us. Yeah, man. It's just, it's just real disturbing when you see people do they thing out here as if they're like real tough and as if they're street. And I think that they don't understand the consequences of their actions. I think some people, they just basically go out here and say whatever they think that their fan base want to hear and they want to play tough in front of people. And it's just not going to work. You know what I'm saying? And then for academics to say if something happens, only two people can be blamed. I just think that that's, that's real weird for him to say because you was you were the ones you Aiden and all y'all y'all start fires y'all the ones that start these fires and then y'all y'all rile these people up and then y'all get mad when these people threaten y'all or say something that it's gonna happen to y'all and then y'all get banned from here and y'all can't go there and it's like I just don't get it I don't get what's the point of all that so either way man y'all have yourself a good good evening man six o'clock show is over have a good night man. See y'all in the morning. <laughs>